What is going on, guys? Paul Ryan back at it again. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Let's talk a little Cowboys. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I get a lot of my information, my updates from Brian Broaddus on the uh, G Bag Nation or just on 105 through the fan in general. Most of their shows you know, keep me up to date with all Cowboys information while I'm working. And today, because of the Rangers midday game, um, I didn't get to hear a lot of Cowboys talk. So I don't have too much for you. That being said, one nugget I did get that really was, I found, I don't want to say encouraging. I say encouraging a lot, but I found interesting. Let's say that it was, they were talking about Micah Parsons and I believe it was Mickey Spagnola was talking about this on the uh, KNC masterpiece, but he was talking about how he's been working with Mike Zimmer and how Micah Parsons is elevating his game, not physically, but mentally, getting a better understanding of the X's and O's, getting a better understanding of protections and where to line up and why this player's lined up over here and, you know, being better about diagnosing what the offense is doing. And to think about what Mike has been able to do in his young career, just really off of instincts and pure skill. Now to think that he is starting to better understand the actual X's and O's, it's kind of a scary thought, man. Um, scary good for anybody who's a Cowboys fan, anybody, of course, who's a football fan. But to think that that part of his game is getting better and then he's playing with a guy like Mike Zimmer who was going to coach him tough, get the best out of him. You know, I, I talk, I say, I swear I say this every day, but this defense could be scary, scary good. Like even better than what, what we saw with Quinn and better in a way to where it's not predicated on just causing turnovers, but truly dominant in a way that we can abuse, use you and abuse you and stop you at will and force our will on you and cause you to make mistakes, of course, but, not necessarily only be dominant because we're forcing turnovers. It gets me really excited just thinking about it. And especially to, to think about, you know, Micah being a young guy, Micah, you know, having a lot of, having a big personality. And, you know, we heard in the off season from people close to the Cowboys about how Micah's not a student of the game or, you know, how Micah's not a leader, you know, th those types of things. But now fast forward to today and, we're hearing maybe that's not the case, right? Or at least that he's changed that. And if he can do that, and if he can be use his physical gift, but also complement that with football IQ, really the sky's the limit. We already you know there's already discussion that Micah Parsons is the best defensive player in the NFL. But there's a chance that we could be talking about Micah Parsons being like a top three overall player, like being in groups with like a Patrick Mahomes, a, a Justin Jefferson, you know, those types of guys. I mean, even, you know, like dominant left tackles, things like that. You know, uh, Micah's rookie year, people were talking about Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald, this and that. It's kind of crazy to think maybe Micah could be better than those guys. I mean, Micah... I don't know, am I crazy to say that Micah could go down as like the best defensive player of all time when his career is all said and done? I know, I don't know how uh, serious this is or how much truth there was to this report, but that Micah saying he only wanted to play until he was 30, which, hey, we see a lot of players, you know, calling, ending their careers earlier than usual because, you know, they want to protect their bodies and their minds and things like that, and they want to have a you know, whatever, for whatever reason, they want to be able to be with their children and things like that and be fully healthy for their other endeavors after after their football career is over. And kudos to them, right? But even then, I think if Micah only plays until he's 30, there is a chance that he could go down as the best defensive player of all time, at least top five. And it's crazy to think that the Cowboys – might just let him go into the season without a new deal. And this guy could go out 
win defensive player of the year and have like a, I don't know, 20, am I crazy to say 20 sack season? We don't see that too often, right? But to think that he could go out and do that, what if he, what if he pulls, has a Khalil Mack type season where he's all pro at two different positions? I don't know, man. It's a dangerous game, right? CD's still not signed. Dak's still not signed. Now Micah, you know, is even extra more motivated to get a, a big payday and to prove the people wrong who were saying things about him this off season. But that's a conversation for another day. It's great to have Micah, Dak, and CD all on the same team. Whether they get paid or not, that's another story. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. I hope everybody's having a good night. I'm Paul Ryan. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.